Dr. Gilbert Focou from Cameroon is on a voyage of discovery. I'm here to discuss with farmers of the Grabunden area to see how they organize themselves for collective work. It's going to be quite a contrast to how they do things back home in West Africa. Gilbert's family keeps sheep, goats and a few pigs, but he says it's very difficult to make a living as a farmer. His research trip is funded by the National Center of Competence in Research, NCCR North-South. Usually, um, within our program, um, Swiss researchers are working somewhere in, in the southern country, somewhere abroad, together with the researchers there. But now, in, in this case, um, Schilber, uh, as a person from West Africa, is coming to Switzerland to do a part of his research. His main interests are institutions, or um, uh, pasture use, how pe people organize themselves, and how natural resources, and above all pastures, could be used more sustainable. Switzerland was chosen for the research because it has a well-established system of pasture use. Farmers pool their resources. Joubert's first stop is a dairy farm in Stuhls, run by John and Nicole Kollenberg Ebele. Wenn die ganz gutes Futter kriegt, ja, ja. dann gibt die etwa 36. Wow. Aha. Per day. Ja. Ah. Aber dann muss sehr gutes Futter food, haben. Food, ja, ja. Essen. Ja, ja. Now we like to gather hay and to see how it works. This is something we don't have in Africa, so it, is, it will be very funny for me, maybe. In my region, we don't have cattle. Yes. We have just maybe two or three goats. Yes, but you also milk the cows, or not? Not in my village, yes. but in other parts of my country, yes. there are people who milk cow. When you produce, we just, send, we just consume it yes. the same day, or we can make a sort of yogurt. Yes. We don't make cheese because we don't, people don't know even what cheese is there. Gilbert asks John Kollenberg Ebele whether alpine agriculture can continue without government subsidies. Also, ohne Direktzahlung denke ich nicht, weil dann wäre noch vieles anders. Mm -hmm. Also, ich glaube nicht, dass im Moment könnte es nicht existieren. Ja, dann würden viele Alpen würden nicht mehr, nicht mehr bestoßen werden. In Africa, we don't have the subsidies. You have the direct payment, but farmers can still make a living. It just mm. means that they have different strategies. For example, they move around with cattle, but obviously this brings a lot of conflicts between, uh, um, between different resource users. Gilbert's next port of call is an alp above Bergun, where Claudio Gregori tends cattle from farms as far afield as Zurich. So uh, it's everything I, I, I need for, for cooking, for cooking. And, and, yeah. and this is you know, fire fireplace for cooking yeah. and for heating. heating. So you have to we have really to, to, to heat, uh, heat and heat and heat. Yeah. That's where I where I sleep. Okay. Uh, to make something for the flies. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in Africa for the mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Gilbert needs to find out more about the problems faced by Alpine farmers. Which type of conflict of problem do you have between farmers in this area? Sometimes you, you have different ideas for, for making a work, but even with different ideas or different, different age from the farmers, well, one is 60, one is 25, and we, well, it was possible to, to work together and, and, uh, in Burgoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think people here can continue farming without the help from the government? No, okay. no way. Now almost the 50% uh, from the income comes from the government for an average farming. Okay. How do you see the future of alpine farming in Switzerland? You have to be, have ideas and, and, and different ways to, to try different things. And, and, but it's possible. I think it's possible even in 30, 40 years to, to make farming in the moment. Okay. Thank very you. sure. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Schilber spent the summer visiting farms around Switzerland and is sharing his findings with a Swiss PhD student studying the same subject. Together they plan to publish an academic paper. He'll also share his experiences with people back home in West Africa. <laughs>